Hello. Um, today I'm going to make uh, chocolate chip walnut zucchini cookies. And I know it sounds kind of weird, zucchinis and cookies, but it's really good. So let's get started. I have my oven preheating. Right now it's going to preheat to 350 degrees while I get things ready. In my first bowl, I have um, half a cup of butter and one cup of sugar, which I'm going to cream together. This recipe um, that I found online, which I'll post everything on... Um, post the recipe for, um, makes eight dozen. So I've just cut the recipe in half um, because I don't need that many cookies. Um, so let me cream these together and I will be right back. Okay, now it's creamed and this is what it looks like uh, when the, sh the sugar and butter are mixed together. Then I'm going to add my dry ingredients. In here, this bowl I have um, two cups of flour, two tablespoons cinnamon, two tablespoons baking soda, uh, one, oh I'm sorry, two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking soda, uh, one teaspoon of salt, um, and then I'm going to mix in one egg with that. So um, let's put everything in. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, um, like half the mixture um, and, the, and the egg and then mix that in and add the rest of the dry ingredients and the egg and I'll be back. Okay, now everything's mixed in. I have my one zucchini grated in here that I'm going to put in the bowl and mix up and then I'm going to add my um, chocolate chips and walnuts and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. Um, it, uh, let me see if I can turn on another light. Um, it was a little bit dry. It looked a little bit dry before I put in the zucchini, but the zucchini acts as like a, a um, it acts as an oil, and um, so it's actually made it a lot um, uh, thinner. And so I'm just going to scoop it onto my um, buttered cookie sheet, and put it in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes and we'll see the finished product. So here they are on the cookie sheet. I've just used a non-stick spray. Um, I forgot to mention that I put in about a little over a cup of walnuts and a little over a cup of chocolate chips into the mixture. You don't have to put walnuts in chocolate chips if you don't want to, but I wanted to. Um, so now they're going to go in the oven. And here is the finished product. Zucchini chocolate chip walnut cookies. They look so good. You can see the little specks of zucchini in them. <clears throat> so I'm going to let these cool and cook the rest. And I hope you make these cookies and enjoy them as much as I'm going to. Thanks. Bye.